Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the 11th in a series of uh, videos to do with the topic encounter with the Jupiterians channeled by Alice B. Claggett. This 11th in the series is entitled, Are Our Human Bodies Owned by Powerful Non-Corporeal Telepaths? For instance, members of the reptilian star races. While my Martian bacterial colonists were speaking with the Jupiterian, um, free-living, subterranean colonists, the former told the latter that my body, their space station, and they were owned by a being. That is, the Martians said that to, to the um, Jupiterians. I queried my Martian bacterial colonists on this. They asked me, who is it that says I am not a homosexual any longer? Because I had been hearing that refrain over and over again on the, on the psychic plane in the tel telepathic realm. And I could not figure it out because I'm straight. I just couldn't figure it out. It was coming from somewhere, but I didn't know where. I asked my Martian bacterial colonists why they asked that question. They said they thought it might help me discover something. I asked what that was. They said, when you hear those words, you think they are spoken by a human friend, but we think it is something that comes down from the sky and lands on you. We think that extra special type of being owns you. I said to my Martian bacterial colonists that I feel these extra special beings do not own us. We are a landing station for them. Sometimes when the sky is right, we can take them to other places. There are other beings, I said, who do not own us. They do not have that drive of territorial aggression. These beings also land on us and ask to travel to other places when the sky is right. Being sensitive to issues of territorial aggression, my Martian bacterial colonists may be referring to the members of the non-corporeal reptilian race who roam about here and there on Earth, those that I think might overlight the reptiles of Earth that are in corporeal form, say for instance, the Davis of the reptilian race, the overlighting star beings or Davis. I have this idea because of the unusual pineal gland and parietal eye that is present in some earth reptiles and in some fishes and amphibians, which may indicate strong psychic abilities, including telepathy. In other words, it seems to me possible that some of the reptiles, amphibians, and fishes on Earth that have that feature of the pineal gland and the parietal eye may be very strong telepaths. The pineal gland and parietal eye of these certain species on Earth may be a gift from an overlighting race of reptilian star beings, or in the more traditional terminology, the devas of the reptiles which may actually be off-world star, star beings. And in relation to that, those human beings on Earth who are overlit by reptilian um, star beings or reptilian uh, devas through some mix-up, through some hybridization effort, perhaps not on the physical but on the astral plane, um, may exhibit exceedingly strong predatorial telepathic abilities because of the changes in their pineal gland and similar to those changes that we see in some reptiles, some amphibians, and some fishes. They may be using areas of their brain, areas of their pineal gland, areas of their pituitary gland that the normal human being does not use because they are overlit by reptilian star races and that makes them not humanoid, but reptoid in nature, if you get me. 
This is just a theory that I have, but it seems quite likely to me currently. All right, that's it for now. Uh, God bless you all and keep you safe.